Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. The increasing importance of chips has made key equipment lithography machines the focus of attention. The reason is that the United States is eyeing the lithography machine as an important tool for chip restrictions, and the lithography machine is a major shortcoming in China's chip equipment. For this reason, China can only achieve breakthroughs in domestic lithography machines. In recent years, ASML's attitude changes just reflect the progress of China's lithography machines. Recently, ASML has obviously panicked. It turns out that the EUV lithography machine of the Chinese Academy of Sciences has made progress. Over the years, many countries in Europe and the United States have not only signed the Wassenaar Agreement to restrict the export of high-end technology and equipment to China, but put them into practical actions. A lot of equipment is purchased at a high price in China, and the after-sales service is also very expensive. If there is a problem with the equipment, China invites foreign technicians to repair it, and they need to bear all the expenses and expenses from the time they go out, and when they repair, they will also pull a line to prevent China from getting close to learning, and their attitude is still very arrogant. This is not counted, the key is to arrange time, which creates a waste of time, so a domestic breakthrough must be achieved. The shield machine is such an obvious special case. Before China made a breakthrough, the import price of a machine was 350 million yuan. After the breakthrough of China's independent research and development, the foreign price was directly reduced to 50 million yuan. It wants to suppress China's development through price reduction and dumping. In fact, lithography machines are no exception. ASML, as the world's leading lithography machine manufacturer, has exclusively monopolized the EUV lithography machine market, accounting for about 90% of the DUV lithography machine market, and has made a lot of money by virtue of its monopoly position. Not only that, but ASML also keeps an eye on the progress of China's lithography machines and has carried out timely dumping and suppression many times. The research and development of China's lithography machine started very early. Even before the establishment of ASML, China's first proximity a contact lithography machine was developed, but it was not put into commercial use. Chip development stagnated for a while, and the development of lithography machines stopped. Around 2000, China began to make up its mind to develop lithography machines, established Shanghai Microelectronics, and once organized a team to visit and study at ASML in the Netherlands. At that time, people directly said, even if you give you the blueprints, you will not be able to build a lithography machine. This remark is not just a contempt for China, but mainly uses the complexity of lithography machines to dispel the start of China's research and development. Even so, Shanghai Microelectronics has broken through the 90 nanometers lithography machine technology through its own efforts. But when mass production was about to start, the West quickly revised the Wassenaar Agreement to allow the export of lithography machines higher than 45 nanometers to China. As a result, ASML began to dump 64 nanometers lithography machines to China, causing Shanghai Microelectronics 90 nanometers lithography machines to be mass produced and launched and the market was preempted, making it difficult to recover R&D funds, 
which seriously affected the continued downward R&D. Therefore, at that time, experts proposed a two-pronged approach, on the one hand, to develop immersion DUV, and on the other hand, to develop EUV technology. Today, the United States continues to increase chip restrictions and wants ASML to restrict DUV lithography machines. But ASML was reluctant at the beginning. Even if the United States, Japan and the Netherlands reached an agreement and the Netherlands announced restrictions, ASML was still trying to ship. And ASML's tone began to change saying that the United States' blind restrictions will only prompt China to achieve technological breakthroughs and make lithography machines that rival ASML. Recently, it also publicly stated that it is expected to ship more lithography machines to China this year. ASML is still operating in this way under restrictions, nothing more than the 28 nanometers immersion lithography machine of Shanghai Microelectronics is about to be launched. Not only that, the president of ASML recently said in an interview with the media that China's research and development of lithography machines is destroying the global industrial chain. Isn't this remark very ridiculous? It seems a little panicked. So why did you say it suddenly? It turns out that the Chinese Academy of Sciences has released new news about the EUV lithography machine. Bai Chunli, the former president and academician of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, recently visited the Changchun Institute of Optics and Mechanics. He visited the prototype of the EUV light source and fully affirmed the key technological breakthroughs he has achieved. The EUV light source is one of the three core components of the EUV lithography machine, and a prototype has been made, indicating that new progress has been made. The manufacture of lithography machines generally requires the development of a principal prototype first, then an engineering prototype, and then mass production applications. Judging from recent news, the most difficult EUV light source has achieved a breakthrough, and it seems that domestic EUV lithography machines will not be too far away. This should be an important reason why the president of ASML panicked. He even said that China's research and development of lithography machines will destroy the global industrial chain. It seems that ASML is really panicked. Foreign media directly stated, Chinese lithography machines are too fast.